What's up guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today I got some of these just a little bit different. This is a pair of custom Vans I made on the Vans custom website. I just got them in maybe a week ago now. And as you guys may already know, I am obsessed with my dog, Charles Brown over here, this little long hair wiener dog. I actually made this little collage of all these random pictures of his face on a pair of slip-ons here. I actually made this on the Snapchat, um, or using Snapchat, using their cut and paste. I made all these little pictures of him on here. So I dubbed these the Charles Brown. I got the embroidery on the heels there, Charles Brown with that brown suede. So this is actually my very first pair of custom shoes from the Vans website. Uh, they are a bit pricey. For this particular pair, I actually had like a gift certificate type thing that I use, so uh, totally free for me. But I think if I were to actually pay for these shoes, they would have come out to around 85 shipped, somewhere around that, uh, maybe without tax. So uh, just a heads up for those of you planning to maybe purchase a pair of these in the future. Uh, so as far as what I did, I did the Marshmallow Soul, which I had no idea was an option until I just checked it out on the website. So it's pretty awesome. That was definitely one of the selling points for me, uh, having this Marshmallow Soul option. I actually didn't see anything that said uh, you could change the foxing stripe on there. So I thought that was kind of weird. I mean, regardless, I was going to go with a solid foxing anyways, but I just thought that was interesting. I don't know if I just didn't see it, but... I'm pretty sure the option was not there. So just a heads up. Of course, you got the red off the wall skateboard on the heel. Can't do anything about the outsole, unfortunately. So this is just uh, the gum waffle outsole. And as I mentioned, I have this brown suede on the heel and the side quarter panels here. I don't remember what it's called. It's like Dermatisse or something like that. It's a really dark brown color. That same brown making up the binding around the tongue there in a canvas. Of course, the actual uh, photo print here is in the canvas as well. And for this photo option, you only have it available on the authentic and the slip-on as of now. Just the regular ones, you cannot do it on a pro, you can't do it on any MTEs or lights or anything like that. So this may change in the future, but as of right now, only two options. So that was a bit of a bummer, but I was still really happy about how these came out. You cannot change the print. On left or the right, they do have to be identical, which is another bummer, but still pretty cool. I got the white elastic gore on there too. Of course, your white Vans flag with the black Vans logo. I don't think you can change that. And then we have the nice customs graphic underneath it, which is pretty cool, something different. On the insole here, you got your Vans logo with the customs print below that. Can't do anything about the insole as well. I got the white pleather around the collar piece and yeah that's pretty much it I mean that's what I did with my customs here as far as how these things come in I don't know if you guys are familiar with it I definitely was not expecting it but they come in like a box that's almost like the Vans box but it's just like the actual shipping box here no official box comes with the shoes you do get this cool dust bag which says custom made for you on it. And um, then they give you this little like pamphlet that talks to you uh, more about the custom vans. And then of course this, which I guess is your receipt, but it pretty much just breaks down the shoe for you, like what you did. And then on the opposite side here, they have like the materials, the colors that you use, all that. So pretty interesting. Um, as far as the price goes, I mean, these are going to be one of a kind. So if you guys really expect to wear these, uh, like a lot, then I, I definitely think it justifies the 85. If this is a shoe that you might be wearing like once or twice and probably not so much. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's definitely interesting. You guys can check it out, see what you can do with it. I know that they, they've been adding a lot of new things like MTEs are fairly new, being able to customize those. And then I know they have a Chima on there now, which is pretty cool. I guess that's like the first customizable pro model. 
Oh, one other thing is they have finally introduced wide sizes. So you guys can order, I think, either the slip-on or the authentic. It's only the two so far, but you can get them in wide sizing. So those of you who have uh, bigger feet, it's nice to have that extra option for you. Well, there you guys have it. These are my custom Charles Brown slip-ons. Hope you guys enjoy the video and stay tuned for the on-feet.